Let's choose a key. C major. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We only need the one and the five. So let's count like this for some reason. One, two, three, four. So E is our positive starting point, and E flat is our negative starting point. So we can use a ruler as our zero axis based on this graph. Starting on E, let's go up 12 notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So from E to E flat, this is the positive side. And from E flat, going down 12 notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So from E flat to E, that's the negative side. So we have a graph here, C major, 12 notes, positive, negative, the starting points, and I'm going to fill it out. So now I'm done writing, the positive side is basically E ascending to E flat, and the negative is E flat descending to E. And you can check it by saying positive is the 7 B flat, so let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's correct. Negative is 10 F sharp, so let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's correct. So this is the circle of fifths, and let's take out our trusty ruler and put it between the 1 and the 5. These are the positive and negative versions of the notes of the C major scale. On the left and right side, there are 6 notes each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's write down the notes in this pattern. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Down in our piece of paper. So now I've written it down. C equals G, C equals G, F equals D, F equals D, and so on and so on. So let's make sure from what we did just now, does C equal G? So let's see. C equals G, C equals G. This one is done. Does F equal D? Let's see. F, D, and F, D. Does B flat equal A? So it's fine. B flat A, B flat A. Does E flat equal E? E flat E, E flat E, then A flat B. So A flat B, A flat B. Last one, C sharp, F sharp. C sharp, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and as you see, Everything gets crossed out, it matches up. So just to recap, I showed you two ways to find this negative harmony stuff. The first way, find the starting point using your piano, write down all of the 12 notes ascending and descending. The second way, use the circle of fifths, choose a key, C major, take out your trusty ruler, put it in between the 1 and the 5 of that key, and find the notes using this straight line pattern. Take note, it's not always going to be C equals G, F equals D in this pattern in this order. This is in the key of C major. So let's say you want to do this in D major. So D is your 1, A is your 5. Take out your trusty ruler. Put it in between the 1 and 5. Let's check if we have 6 notes each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's balance. Use that straight line method. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is in D major, completely different notes. So if you straight away did step 2 and you end up like this and you don't trust yourself, then don't worry. Just write down the notes in the straight line order and you write it down here first. Then do step 1. You write down the 12 notes ascending, descending. Then you just check. Does D equal A? Does G equal E? And you just check all of it. If it checks out both in a positive and negative, that means you're right, and that's it.